adventures in iSTEM, velocity, and acceleration. Let's start with velocity. Velocity is how fast an object is going in a certain direction. Another way to say it is velocity is speed in a certain direction. If a car is going 60 miles per hour, you know its speed. If a car is going 60 miles per hour north, you know its velocity. A motorcyclist goes 50 miles east in 40 minutes. What is his velocity? First, find the speed. Speed equals distance divided by time. So speed equals 50 miles divided by 40 minutes. Speed equals 1.25 miles per minute. Next, add the direction. Velocity equals 1.25 miles per minute east. Now you try. What is the velocity of a person driving 200 miles south in 2.5 hours? Velocity equals 80 miles per hour south. Moving on to acceleration. Acceleration is speeding up right? Wrong. Acceleration is actually the rate of change in velocity. What? I'm confused. You can accelerate anytime you change your velocity. This includes changing your speed by increasing it or decreasing it, changing your direction, or changing both speed and direction. These motorcyclists are accelerating because they are changing their speed and direction. These jockeys are accelerating because they are changing their speed. The moon is accelerating because it is constantly changing its direction as it revolves around Earth. Are these bicyclists accelerating? Yes, they are changing speed and direction as they curve around the corner. Is the space shuttle accelerating? Yes, it is changing its speed as it speeds up into the atmosphere. Is the robot accelerating if it moves at a constant 20 meters per second north? No, it is not changing its speed or direction. Challenge. How do you find the actual rate of change in velocity? To do this, you need a simple formula. Acceleration equals the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time to change between those two velocities. So let's look at this. If the bicyclist was going 20 meters per second at the beginning and then went 40 meters per second at the end and it took 5 seconds to make that change, the acceleration would equal 40 minus 20 divided by 5. And that would give us 4 meters per second per second, or otherwise known as 4 meters per second squared. Let's challenge your turn. What is the change in velocity of a skier going from 50, 15 meters per second to 30 meters per second in three seconds. Thirty minus fifteen would give you fifteen. Divided by three would give you five meters per second squared. Make sure you subscribe to Adventures at iSTEM and for more information about how you can use inquiry to do STEM Follow me at www.adventuresinistem.com.